what is up youtube i jump really high and i am gonna show you what i do for my upper body workout this is a rare video because all the videos that you see me posting are about lower body training and there's a reason why it's because it's the most it's more specific to jumping higher than upper body training however your upper body does play a role when you jump specifically your shoulders and your upper back if you get those really strong if you and you're a two foot jumper you're gonna see some transfer over to your jumps now the workouts that i'm doing today are actually inspired by christian williams over at archery strong so look him up on instagram at archery strong he has been writing my programming for upper body workouts since 2021 and the reason this is is because my shoulders got messed up from doing too many low rim dunks and shoulder pain to archers is what knee pain is to jumpers and he knew uh, really well what he was doing so if you have shoulder pain i highly recommend you check his stuff out so we started the workout with a passive uh hang on the bar for a minute straight when i first started doing that i'm not gonna lie to y'all I could barely hold on for the minute, but now it's getting pretty easy. I can I can hold the, the whole minute pretty uh, pretty well. And then the second workout here it looks a little weird. It looks kind of wrong. It looks like I'm doing something bad with my hand. Uh, this is a quadruped A bar wave. Now this is getting more into the shoulder prehab. The first three exercises that I do every single upper body day is focused on getting my shoulders feeling nice and healthy and warmed up. Now, when I started this upper body training, mind you, I, I used to never hit upper body. Like I would do the general strength circuits at, at THP, which is a uh, good for general days. And you know, it keeps your body composition low. It gets you in shape and it's volume that we can pull out later on, but it's not actual uh, you know, upper body volume that's going to add mass. Now we can program upper body for our athletes if they like it. Um, but I used to never ever do just strict, you know, for volume upper body training until I started working out with Christian. And as soon, when I started, I started putting on a lot of mass. The first year was literally just doing, um, it was literally just doing shoulder rehab stuff. Like I think it was for the first like six to eight months. And beginning of 2022 my shoulders were healthy enough to start doing uh actual upper body lifts uh like effective upper body lifts and i put on a ton of mass i think that that first year i put on like 10 pounds of muscle in the first year and then i've slowly gained upper body mass uh over the next uh, couple of years and yeah i used to be a freaking twig so it's definitely put on a lot of mass but it's been sport specific muscle mass i know you i'm doing bench um in this workout we specifically do dumbbell bench and we don't lift super super heavy we tend to keep the volume um pretty high because as soon as i start going heavy on bench press in conjunction with doing a lot of dunk training dunk technique and dunk sessions your shoulders will get messed up um i just like the bench i like the way it makes me look <laughs> Uh, my wife likes the way it makes me look. So I tell him to, to put in a little bit of benching volume in there. Uh, but it's not necessary for you uh, for jumping higher. Now, the stuff that's important, pull-ups, rows, uh, curls are actually pretty useful if you do elbow dunks and that, and that sort of thing. Uh, but anything that's going to be training your back is so helpful for your, for your upper body. Another thing is my upper body workouts aren't that long. I think this workout was like 20 minutes. My longer workouts will be like 30, maybe 40 minutes, maybe. And even with, and it's just twice a week. And even with that small amount of volume, I've just, I'm, I mean, I've stayed consistent. I legit have, like, I've gotten through 99% of the workouts. It's very rare a day that I'll miss an upper body workout. And that's been for three years straight. And I've been seeing gains um, you know, ever so slowly. And that's just a testament to the importance of consistency. And, it's, I, and I, this is all for my, all my THP guys here. The training can get super difficult. It can get really hard to get to the gym and destroy your body for two hours a day. If it's going to make you not work out, it's better. I'm, I'm scared to say this. It's better, you know, to cut sets cut reps and just get in what you can 
because at the end of the day, if you're not training, you're not going to get better. Like rule number one is don't stop and just do something in the gym. And if you can stomach it, start doing the hard stuff. And if you do more of the hard stuff, you get in the habit of doing the hard stuff. So, yeah, finished the workout here. I think my top sets was 70-pound bench press for 10. And then I did 135 on rows for 10. Let me know if you guys like this style of video. And if you want me to just show you guys my daily workouts. I know usually when I post the type of stuff, it gets, like, it loses novelty after a while. And I stop watching it. But let me know if you want to keep hearing my thoughts and even the boring days, uh, such as my upper body, upper body workouts. And like always, guys, if you want to get coached personally by me to jump higher, go to thpstrength.com, check us out, and use the code THP for 10% off your first month. Catch you guys in the next video. See you.